From the music after mass to the sounds of the subway, parishioners at St. Sebastian's in Woodside took to the streets to share their love of Jesus. The pastor, Father Patrick West, led the procession through the Queen's neighborhood on the Feast of Corpus Christi, holding the monstrance, carrying the Blessed Sacrament high for all to see, a reminder that Jesus Christ is alive and walks among us. To be Processions like this took place all over the Diocese of Brooklyn, from Blessed Trinity Parish in Rockaway, where parishioners stopped to pray at a sidewalk altar, to Our Lady of Angels in Bay Ridge, where a storefront stop drew the attention of community members, to St. Joseph's in Astoria, where children tossed rose petals in the street. Bishop Robert Brennan was also in Astoria at Most Precious Blood, where he processed around the block after celebrating Corpus Christi Mass. It's the feast of the church. It's the story of the church. And Bishop Brennan says the Eucharist is the heart and soul of it. But this feast day comes at a time when, according to a Pew Research study, nearly two-thirds of Catholics don't believe the bread and wine used at Mass become the body and blood of Jesus. Because of that, on Corpus Christi Sunday, the U.S. bishops launched the National Eucharistic Revival. Father Carlos Velasquez is helping guide the revival in the Diocese of Brooklyn. The whole revival is about us learning more about what the Eucharist is to re-evangelize ourselves mm. and to get us more on fire. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.